There is a growing amount of alarm that many people share about their potential exposure to environmental toxins and the negative health consequences that they may have. Whether they're sourced through air pollution, water pollution, organophosphates, pesticides, plastics, or heavy metals. This is a particular passion of mine. Over the last 17 years, I've been to multiple conferences which focus on heavy metals, on toxic exposure, on sources, and potentially what we can do about it as well. Now, I can't tell you how common it is that patients walk through the door with vague symptoms that go undiagnosed. We sit down, do an exposure history, do a complete medical history, run some lab tests, and sure enough, they have elevated heavy metals. And once we help them process those heavy metals, they start to feel better. So let's talk about the five most common heavy metals, some of the sources, some of the negative impacts they have on the body, the symptoms that they cause, and potentially some simple things that you can do to help your body process those heavy metals. So the top five are arsenic, lead, mercury, aluminum, and cadmium. Now you may think that, well, I've never had any specific exposures. I've never worked as a painter or with ceramics or in a manufacturing plant. It's not if you are toxic, it's if those toxins are a causative factor in your health. If those toxins are an obstacle for you achieving health and wellness. So when we talk about heavy metals, there's three primary targets in the human body that heavy metals have the immune system, which can cause allergies, chronic infections, autoimmunity, and certain types of cancers. The neurological system, alterations in cognitive abilities, brain fog, sensory changes, numbness and tingling, fine tremors, fine motor difficulties, mood alterations like depression and anxiety and anger and coordination changes. And thirdly, the endocrine system, which can cause sleep disrupts, disruptions, or changes in energy levels, mood alterations in weight, appetite, bowel functions, sexual interest and sexual functions. In females, any kind of menstrual changes, changes in temperature perception, sweating, flushing, alteration of hair growth or nail growth. And you may ask, well, why do some people retain more heavy metals than others? There are genetic differences in phase one and phase two detoxification pathways in the liver due to polymorphisms that are individual. It may be due to nutrient deficiencies, magnesium, selenium, vitamin B6. It may be due to a poor diet, high in sugar, low in protein. It could be due to stress, emotional suffering, trauma, or the presence of other heavy metals makes you retain additional heavy metals. And of course, if you've had increased specific exposure. So there are certain red flags that I look for in patients. Adverse physical or mental relations from exposure to ambient levels of chemicals, headaches, brain fog, fatigue, muscle weakness, muscle spasms, and irritable bowel. A history of adverse reactions to medications, an inability to handle caffeine. If, if you tell me I can't drink caffeine after noon without experiencing insomnia later on in the day, that's a red flag. And again, an inability to handle medications. If, if you're telling me I'm very sensitive to medications, I must take very small doses of medications or else I, I get side effects. That is a red flag as well. So let's talk about these five heavy metals that are most common and contributing to negative health conditions. Number one, arsenic. It's the number one EPA ranked toxin in the United States. Sources include cigarette smoke, wine from sprayed grapes, shellfish, seaweeds, wood preservatives, cattle and sheep dip, production of semiconductor parts, production of photoelectric components and electronic manufacturing, galvanizing, etching, fungicides, pesticides, fireworks, tanning leather products, textile printing, cable sheaths, copper or lead smelting, and glass manufacturing. Arsenic can lead to a number of symptoms, general symptoms like fatigue and malaise, light sensitivity, headaches, 
It can cause skin problems, lung problems, nail problems, cardiovascular problems, GI upset, neurological problems, endocrine problems, musculoskeletal problems, psychological problems, and kidney problems. So arsenic is a number one identified toxin by the EPA. Number two is lead. It's ranked number two as an EPA toxin. Sources include bullets, fishing equipment, art supplies, weight equipment, radiation shields, bearing alloys, ceramic glazes and pigments, plumbing, miners, mechanics, refinery, smelting workers, anti-knock gasoline additives, paint, solar joints in water system, batteries, colored and stained glass. And it can cause fatigue, malaise, weight loss, problems with burning of the mouth, headaches, musculoskeletal problems, neurological problems, cardiovascular problems, kidney problems, and reproductive problems. Next, let's talk about mercury. It is actually the number three ranked EPA toxin that we're exposed to in the United States. So there are different types of mercury. One is elemental mercury, the other is organic mercury. It can come from coal power plants, medical waste incineration, municipal water waste incineration, water and food. Lots of mercury in contaminated water and food products. Organic or methyl mercury is atmospheric mercury, methylated by organisms in water and soil, highest contents in trout, pike, walleye, bass, tuna, tilefish, shark, and sh swordfish. And then there's elemental mercury, dental amalgams. Dentists actually have a very high level of elemental mercury because they're either putting in amalgams or removing amalgams. Fossil fuels, latex paint, prior to 1992, thermometers, electrical switches, Dove soap, Ajax and Comet, and certain brands of dis dishwashing soap. It can cause fatigue, hair loss, skin rashes, headaches, a metallic taste in your mouth, neurological problems, cardiovascular problems, kidney problems, lung problems, GI problems, and skin problems. Next, let's talk about aluminum. Aluminum is found in cookware, like aluminum coffee pots, pizza pans, pots, and utensils. Tomato sauce cooked in aluminum is specifically high in extracting that aluminum. Citrus eaten with antacids, certain brands of antacids, buffered aspirin, paint, fireworks, glasswork, rubber, ceramics, aluminum baking powder, soy-based infant formulas, certain deodorants, drinking water, clarified by aluminum, canned goods, coal power plants, incinerators, and pesticides. Aluminum can cause fatigue, malaise, heat intolerance, skin problems, neurological problems, lung problems, reproductive problems and kidney problems. Next, let's talk about cadmium. Cadmium is the number seventh ranked EPA toxin in the United States. Exposure history includes batteries, plastic manufacturing, metal soldering, welding, fossil fuels, incineration, metal smelting, tattoos, fertilizer, fungicides, and cigarette smoking. Cadmium can, can cause malaise, weakness, fatigue, kidney problems, GI problems, lung problems, cardiovascular problems, osteoporosis, cancers of the lung and prostate, and endocrine problems. Now, what do we do about this? We know there are five big hitters when it comes to heavy metals. We can take glutathione, herbs like curcuma, tinospora, milk thistle, calcium deglutarate, EGCG, brassica vegetables, whey protein, alpha lipoic acid, specifically is helpful for mercury, arsenic, cadmium, and lead, NAC or N-acetylcysteine, zinc, arsenic is helped by taurine and mentha, mentha are the uh, mint herbs like spearmint and peppermint. Mercury can be helped by oxim, which is holy basil, coriander, spirulina, selenium, and omega-3 fatty acids. Lead can be helped with coriander, cadmium with zinc, magnesium, vitamin C, and ginger. Now there are chelators that you can take, DMPS, DMSA, 
I would highly recommend that you work with a qualified practitioner if you can consider chelators to help extract those heavy metals. Chelator is a Latin word that means teeth, so basically it goes into the body, grabs them with the teeth, the chelator, and pulls them out so that you can eliminate them from the body. Vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, whey protein, uh, an amino acid supplement, magnesium, magnesium, and more magnesium can help your liver process these heavy metals. Copper, alpha lipoic acid, psyllium fiber, rice bran fiber, garlic, NAC or N-acetylcysteine, potassium citrate. I would also encourage that you go to a website that I visit frequently called Environmental Working Group, EWG.org. And it provides a ton of information about the sources and what you can do about it. The first step is identifying the sources and avoiding or at least eliminating the exposure that your body has to these heavy metals. And we can do other things in terms of supplementation or, or chelation, but the number one step is identifying those sources and limiting, if not avoiding those sources to the best of your ability. Now, I wanna know, it's, it's common. It's, it's not a matter of, hey, I've never been exposed specifically to these heavy metals. It's again, not if you are toxic, we all are exposed. It's if those heavy metals are elevated, if you're harboring heavy metals and the health consequences that you might suffer from it. I wanna know where you're from, your experiences with exposure from heavy metals. I love that you guys are watching from all over the world. I'm honored and impressed with your time and attention to learn more about your health and wellness. I believe in the original meaning of the word doctor, docere, which means teacher. So I've done research, again, for the last 17 years, educating myself on sources, on exposures, on symptoms, on lab tests, and treatments for heavy metal exposure. Never doubt that a small group of people can make a dramatic change. So it's up to you to continue educating your friends and family about the sources and about the vague symptoms that these heavy metals can cause. Now at Zenith Labs, we've actually created a supplement called Zenith Detox, which contains a number of these botanical agents and nutraceuticals that can help your body process these heavy metals. Again, the first step is always avoidance, 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 if you can. We have a Facebook page I want to have you check that out if you haven't already done so an instagram page and of course a website zenithlabs.com i want to continue this journey with you so that i can help educate you about the sources of heavy metals about the consequences of heavy metals and some simple steps that we can take to help our bodies process those heavy metals again thanks so much for your time and attention i'm dr ryan shelton